Hey you, yeah you, I see you watching this video. How come you ain't subscribed? That's right, I know you ain't subscribed. Man, you better get down there and click that subscribe button. Don't make me get the production team on you now. I got some hitters back here. Yeah, subscribe and turn that bell on, man. I ain't got time for this. I gotta be recording. Come on. Alright, so I ain't gonna lie to you, I low-key just recorded this video that I'm about to redo, but it's only because of one thing. Once I made the build and I really started to play with it, I realized one thing, because I had to match up against them. It was a Giannis Attentacumpo build. When I originally made it, I thought it was a Charles Barkley slash Bam Adebayo slash Shaquille O'Neal hybrid type build, but it's really not. I just did one thing. It's Giannis, because uh, I jumped in the game, shooting wasn't perfect, but boy, the way this power forward build handled the ball. It was insane. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like this is a cheesy build to run. I will be running it this year. Yeah, I'm in love with it. Now, obviously, I only got one more power forward build thing to make after this because uh, TK going to jack this one from me. But uh, what we got is this. It's a power forward. I'm going right-handed, as you can guess. Jersey number 10. Now, this is meant to be a Giannis Attentacumpa type build. It's not meant to literally be Giannis, but it's meant to be like it. By the way, my name is Alvin MB10, aka AMR10. I forgot to do my intro only because I literally just hopped out the My Player game with this build. But yeah, uh, pie chart wise, the pie chart I like to go with was, as you know, Giannis don't shoot. Now, obviously, recently he's been shooting a little bit more, but Giannis don't shoot. Let's be dead serious about ourselves. I know there's hella dudes that will tell me he shoots, man, he nailed a few threes. But yeah, how many has he missed? So because of that, we go with this build right here. Highly defensive. Decent playmaking ability from the power forward position. Really good finishing. Giannis has great finishing. There's no way I can get all of that all in one. And mediocre shooting apart from half decent free throws. So, yeah. Pie, second, third pie chart from the bottom. I initially thought of going with this, but I realized the only difference is this makes worse playmaking, better finishing, better interior defense, and way better rebounding. But that's not worth it for the sake of it. Because this build is a power forward that can basically play point at the same damn time. Now, all speed, no no need to worry about vertical and all that stuff. As you can guess, max out close shot, max out driving, max out driving dunk. You want to max out your free throws and your mid-range jump shot just because you use those quite a bit. Same thing for interior defense, lateral quickness, defensive rebound, and offensive rebound, even though I just did them in reverse order. But yeah, these are the first things you want to max out. One thing I'm going to say to you, this build does not finish with the most badges but it finishes with the ones you need this is a build you need to make if you run a power forward because honestly you can mess some kids up with this now let me go back to this i know i have to get the driving dunk up to a 55 just so that i can get my nine finishing badges now playmaking wise i'm gonna get this up quite a bit just so i can get because uh there's a y'all gonna see what i'm about to do with this one but there's a few tricky things you do here that really mess this up for people. I'm going to go 60 on blocks, 60 on steals, giving me 17 defensive re defensive badges. I don't need 19. I'm going to go with 16, all right? If I go with 16 then, that is getting me nothing then. Yup, there we go. Cool. As you can see here, what you finish with is 84 close shots, 72 driving layup, 75 driving dunk, 55 standing dunk, 67 mid range, 79 free throw, 76 pass accuracy, 65 ball handle, 66 post moves, 75 interior defense, 64 perimeter defense, 68 lateral quickness, 60 steals, 60 block, 82 offensive rebound, 86 defensive rebound. Now, shocking news, this will clamp up most guards. I know you're wondering, he's not fast as hell. How the hell is he going to clamp up guards? You need to remember something. This year's 2K, unless you have a defensive pie chart that you select, you get like one to three defensive badges. Uh, this isn't linking back to how you're gonna guard them, but that means they won't be able to guard you. With these 18 defensive badges, you will be able to clap these motherfuckers. Especially with 75 speed, which I'm not gonna lie to you, we gotta fix around that, cause you're thinking this guy's too slow, but watch. We gonna go with a defined build, cause I ain't been in the gym in, the while, in a while, but trust me, when I get back into it, we gonna be kinda defined. Now, this is where it comes in tricky. Height-wise, you want to go 6'8". The reason for going 6'8 is, if you notice, at 6'9", you have 75 speed, which is really slow if you're going to guard guards. So if you set it up at 6'8", you get an 82 speed, you lose 4 on your interior defense, your block, your defensive rebound, and you lose 6 on your offensive rebound, as well as 1 on your standing dunk, which, trust me, will get back, because you make plus 6 on perimeter defense, plus 7 lateral quickness, plus 5 steal, 
plus six ball handle, plus three pass accuracy, plus two on both mid-range and free throw, as well as plus one on three-pointer, and you gain plus seven speed, plus four except plus six excel, plus four vertical, minus one strength. Like, that's a willing sacrifice right here, because guess what? We go the other way. We're gonna push speed up to an 83. Because we're really trying to get as much speed as we can out of this. Now, obviously, this pushes my interior defense down to a 69. But the honest truth is, as I said before, with the number of badges we have defensively, you don't need that high of a defense grading on certain attributes, especially on your interior defense. But you will have an 83 speed and an 80 XL at power forward with great rebounding stats and great finishing stats. Because next trick, wingspan up to a 90. You might wonder, what the hell? That's because it maxes out your driving, it pushes up your driving dunk to an 80 overall, pushes your close shot to an 87, pushes your standing dunk to a 60, minimizes your mid-range jump shot, which I'm not gonna lie to you. Even with this rating, I, you can really knock down shots. Your ball handle will be down minus one, perimeter defense will be up, lateral quickness will be up. Everything defensively, apart from interior defense, goes up plus one at the very least, plus four at the max, which you can see, strength goes down to 54, but again, we have a counter for this. We have a counter for everything that you see negated, and we have a boost for everything you see going positive. Because look at that 83 speed, 80 XL, 71 vert, 6'8 power forward who can rebound to hell. Now, this build also gets the funny thing of you can get playmaking, which is why I told you this is a Giannis Attentacumpo build. Now, obviously, it's a bit shorter because I know the boys are a bit taller, but I'm making this so that you can use it in 2K because as you know, 2K will never let you make a real play in real life. But funny thing about it is 2K gives you glass cleaner, but guess who it compares you to? Oh wait, it actually brought Giannis this time. Last time it had it as Charles Oakley, John Collins, then Jason Tatum. But this time it put through Charles Oakley, Jason Tatum, Giannis Antetokounmpo. I don't know what I changed for it to bring in Giannis this time, but it brought in Giannis. And as you can see, you have built a glass cleaning power forward. But uh, yeah, before I get to the badges, quick question. Me and the production team have been speaking. How do y'all feel about a face cam? Because I got people in my production team telling me, yo, you need to bust out a face cam, be more approachable to the people who are watching you. But at the same time, I'm thinking, yo, I'm all about no face, no case. So I'm a bit iffy on the face cam thing, but the one thing I know I might really want to get is a mic. And that's just purely because I really, like, the speaking part of this is fun as hell. And I feel like the mic I have now is a bit distant from me, which makes it sound like I'm a bit far. And if I could get a nice, real mic, I could be all up in it. All up in your ear, in your eardrums, so y'all could hear me. But until then, yeah, so if you know a good mic, send me a link. I actually might be copping one just so that you guys have better content coming your way. Also, to the people that ain't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. We got more videos coming your way, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a whole lot of you that ain't. But yeah. Uh... Testing out the build, I'm gonna just show you what badges I would personally strap on it. Now, we get nine finishing badges, so because of that, there's one thing gonna go contact finisher, put back boss, and back down punisher. Because as you saw before, this will be the main purpose of the build. Like, it's not gonna be shooting any jump shots, so it's everything inside, and if it's everything inside, you're gonna be catching the ball in the post quite a bit, in which case, you'll need to be able to push someone down. And once you catch it inside, you're gonna be looking to finish strong, so that contact finisher, as well as put back boss, off the rebound, all these three badges are gonna literally help each other. You'll see it. Now, shooting wise, I personally just went with a gold catch and shoot because I don't expect to be taking any shots off the dribble. I don't expect to be taking so many shots that I need anything to help me. And I don't expect to take a jump shot when someone's actually closing me out. I'm just gonna try and get by them to try and close me out. So catch and shoot is my best, sh my best shout here. Playmaking, this is where it gets a bit tricky. I go gold dimer, gold downhill, gold unpluckable, Gold Needle Threader, Hall of Fame Tight Handles, and lastly but not least, oh, this that's why I said Giannis, because I don't have as many playmaking badges. Okay, I, I'm going to take off Diamond because I only put that on because, yeah, I'm going to put it on uh, Post Spin Technician. I'm running these badges specifically because with the speed that he has, if I catch the rebound, I'm running the break and I'm diving it out to somebody, which is why Needle Threader plays a key part because... Downhill will help me get down court. If the blade is clogged, Needle Threader will help bail me out. Unpluckable is because, as you can guess, everybody who plays 2K knows you gotta run unpluckable, otherwise you lose the ball. Post Spin Technician is because, again, I'm gonna be playing with my back to the basket quite a bit. And Tight Handles is just because I'm gonna be looking to break down a few power forwards because I know they ain't gonna be able to guard me. They ain't gonna have those many defensive badges, so it's gonna be hella fun. But, uh, next badges we get is the 18 defensive. Now, for these, I gotta go Gold Clamps, Gold Intimidator, Gold Rebound Chaser, 
gold rim protector. Ooh, why am I going to Hall of Fame on all of these? I got to go. <laughs> the, the last one is the one I love the most, but uh, I got to go gold post move lockdown and then gold pickpocket. I know y'all are wondering, what? The pickpocket, like everything else makes sense. You get why I'm running clamps because I want to stay in front of people. Intimidator, challenge shots, rebound chaser because I want to get all the, all the rebounds I can get. Uh, rim protector just because I'm gonna protect the cup as much as I can. Uh, post move lockdown, I'm actually not gonna need it. I might just go with trapper. Nah, actually, trap is trapper is kind of bad. Hmm. Nah, do I? Need... I want something that's a bit nice. Pickpocket solely here because I know the truth is I'm gonna be able to really steal from these power forwards because they ain't gonna have tight handles and yeah. So I'm gonna go with lightning reflexes actually. It's a weird thing to run out of big, but my, my big's a bit of a hybrid between the first four positions in the game, apart from, actually, it's a hybrid between a point and a power forward just because he can move the ball around. The only thing he can't do is shoot. Everything else he can do. So I'm gonna run gold clamps, gold lightning reflexes, gold intimidator, gold pickpocket, gold rim protector, gold rebound chaser. Now, after, seeing as now that y'all see the badges I chose to run on this and how I chose to run it, what would you do different? Do you personally think this build would be fire? Because I think it would be fire. Like, if you saw it in, in the way I just saw it, it cleans house. So, yeah. Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me what you'd do different. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We got way more than 30 views that are non-subscribed coming in on the daily now. And uh, that's a bit strange. So, yeah. Subscribe. I got more 2K content coming your way. I got my career videos coming out soon as well as my team. And obviously, I'm going to jump back on the wreck. Anyway, it's been your boy Alvin MB10, aka MR10. Have a good day, enjoy the rest of it, and yeah, deuces.